Now, if you're using borrowed money to invest as part of your investment strategy, there is a way to add the loan balance to your portfolio in ShareSite 2. To add a loan amount, I click on the Add Cash Account button here again. I will add a cash account by giving it a name like Loan, Margin Account or Borrowings. Or you could add the ending three digits of the account number if you have multiple loan accounts. You can also add any currency here. Click Create New Cash Account. To add the closing cash account balance, click on Add Transactions. Here you can enter the transaction type where you can put any transaction type in manually, the transaction date, balance and description. Now for a borrowed amount, you can simply add a negative sign to the balance you manually add in. Adding the loan amount balance is really just making sure the balance is shown as part of my portfolio and I can see the net value of my portfolio including loans. This is effectively calculating my net worth or equity I own in my portfolio which is very handy. ShareSite will show borrowings or loans as negative amounts in the cash category of the overview report and graph by default. You can customize account groups if you want the loan to be allocated to a specific group like adding a margin loan to your share account or investment loan against your unlisted property investment. Then remember you can get the first four months free if you use the link appearing on your screen now, which can also be found in the description of this video below. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite feature in ShareSite is, and remember to hit the like button. You will probably find the video on the screen helpful to watch next, and also this one about calculating 20 years of DRPs on one investment using ShareSite to help me calculate my capital gains tax bill.